The current law for selling cars requires that you go through the, the big existing franchise dealer networks. Unfortunately, we're an electric car that's different. This is just one of the obstacles to the electric car business that Musk and Tesla want to remove in Texas in recent times. Although Tesla has built a giant factory in Texas, state lawmakers have not really created favorable conditions for Tesla to develop. Recently, some sources unveiled that if the Texas government is still conservative and makes it difficult for Tesla, Elon Musk will have to move Giga Texas to another location. So, is this going to happen or not? Let's find out in today's episode. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Because all we do here is give you up-to-date information about Tesla, Elon Musk, and the world of EVs. Let's get started on today's episode. According to some analysts, Elon Musk's relocation of the Giga Texas factory may happen because before that, Musk moved Tesla's headquarters from California to Texas. In a recent interview, Musk shared the reason why he left California. The California's gone from the land of opportunity to, to the land of taxes, uh, overregulation, and litigation. And th this is not a good situation is also a warning signal that Elon Musk wants to send to Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Texas lawmakers as well. Analysts find that the state of Texas is showing clear signs of making it difficult for Tesla. Accordingly, it is the conservative Texas regulators, including the governor of Texas, Abbott himself, who still defend their fossil fuel industry. Here, have a listen to this. The reason why Texas has been ranked the number one state as the best state to do business in uh, is because we operate at the speed of business, which means that we accelerate the permitting process, and we reduce regulations so that businesses can operate more quickly, including uh, those in the oil and gas sector. Meanwhile, Tesla is not only in the business of electric vehicles, but also they have a hand in the field of clean and renewable energy, mainly solar. Is this difference in opinion on the energy industry that may make it difficult for Tesla's development within the state? Texas legislators passed a law that said if you don't include fossil fuel companies in your portfolios, then you can't do business in our state. The law bars Texas's state retirement and investment funds from doing business with companies that the Texas state comptroller says are boycotting fossil fuels. Anyways, the funds are worth approximately $330 billion, though it's not clear how much of them are invested in companies Texas plans to boycott. The law applies to new or existing contracts greater than $100,000. Not only that, Texas legislators also introduced another bill in order to hinder Texans buying Tesla electric cars. As per some sources, Texas lawmakers were actively considering the implementation of Senate Bill 1728, which could charge electric car owners a minimum of $200 to $250 per year. Additionally, for those who drive over 9,000 miles, which would likely be most drivers, an additional fee of at least $190 could apply. The proposed Texas Senate Bill 1728 aims to increase fees for EV owners to make up for the gas tax they're not paying. The fees would be assessed to some 300,000 EVs, which would raise nearly $40 million for use by the Texas State Highway Fund in 2022. This bill's effective date was January 1st of 2022. Furthermore, the city of Austin, Texas is also reviewing licensing for Tesla's electric vehicle battery plant in the area. Accordingly, at present in the state of Texas in the US, a group of environmentalists are protesting Tesla's application for a license for its upcoming battery cathode material factory next to the Gigafactory, Texas, over concerns about water supply along the Colorado River, although previously Musk promised that this plant will be among the most water efficient in the auto industry. Another bill in Texas that also makes Tesla and Musk equally filled with headaches is the bill to ban direct car sales and having to sell cars through dealerships. Tesla is still persistently fighting against this particular bill. Although the government in the state of Texas and lawmakers still made it difficult for Tesla, Musk still has no intention of moving the Giga Texas factory to another place. It's a blessing for the state of Texas. On top of that, Musk has a plan to build a new factory for Tesla. At the company's recent company-wide meeting, he says that Tesla's new factory might not necessarily be in the US as the automaker is also considering options for a new plant abroad. 
Musk said that Tesla hasn't decided yet, but he did specify that it might not be in the US. He unveiled that we are looking at places, but we are considering some site options more broadly in North America, so including Canada and Mexico. The Tesla CEO made it sound like Tesla is actively looking at sites, but he did make it clear that the priority in North America right now is to ramp Gigafactory Texas to volume production. Musk said during the meeting, the priority is definitely getting Giga Texas up to volume production and it's difficult to get to volume production. It is much more important that we get Texas to volume production than to find a new site, but we are looking. Ramping up production of complex products like an electric car is always difficult, and even though Tesla has a lot of experience with that at this point, Gigafactory Texas is going to be especially difficult to ramp up. That's due to the Texas-built Model Y being equipped with Tesla's new 4680 cell and structural battery pack. Tesla needs to ramp up production of the new cell and of the new electric SUV with the updated structural battery pack architecture. Ultimately, Tesla has reportedly agreed to build a battery and EV factory in Indonesia. Not long ago, Tesla is again said to be near a deal for a major new battery venture in Indonesia after a new round of talks with officials and even Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, meeting with the Indonesian president, Joko Widodo. It's not the first time that talks of Tesla making a major investment in Indonesia have emerged, however. In 2020, several sources reported that Tesla talked with the Indonesian government to build a new nickel venture in the country, which has a strong nickel reserve. Nickel is one of the main materials used in the production of cathodes for battery cells used in EVs. The move came after CEO Elon Musk pleaded with mining companies to increase their nickel production. Currently, the local news report that Tesla agreed to build a factory and EV plant at an industrial complex in central Java province, Indonesia, following stateside talks last weekend between President Jaco Widodo and Tesla chief executive Elon Musk. And with that, today's episode has come to its end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.